What's up, YouTube and all the interweb? This is your boy, Mr. 100, back with another video. Um, just going to tell you my opinion, what I saw. You know, I got up this morning checking on the interweb and saw, you know, was Gears the collection, was it confirmed or not? Um, they asked Phil Spencer a question and he said, yada, yada, this and that. I can't confirm or deny it. So many words. Some people are like, yes. Gears is coming out. Some people like, just don't take it with a grain of salt until we see it. Now, I have some people saying, I don't even want Gears on the Xbox One. Um, this and that. Just going to give you my opinion on it. It's just my opinion. Now, I've said this on multiple occasions. Some people say, move on to Gears 4. Gears 4 wants, I want it to be done right. Now, what are you going to do? make another uh, enemy because spoiler alert the locust is dead dead on arrival they're dead put a fork in them boys they're dead so we're gonna have another uh, enemy or are you gonna take gears from off that planet something like earth and make it another planet in another dimension or 200 years afterwards and bring another enemy and bring fresh brand new characters or you can do this make a prequel like Bungie did with Halo Reach one of the greatest games in Halo collection Halo Reach was even though we already knew what happened knew Reach was going to get fucked up we just didn't know how and we played it don't mind that you're going to do Emergence Day. If you don't know what Emergence Day is, the locusts come out and fuck all everybody up. Just fuck them up. They kicking ass and asking questions last. I would love to see how Dom and Marcus reaction. Um, but I wouldn't mind that. And then I get a lot of people saying, well, do you really want the Gears collection on the Xbox One? Would you buy it? I will buy it if I can get all three. I will buy it. But people have to understand this too. It's some people that's new to gaming. They never played Gears of War. Period. I know people that's never played Halo. Period. I'm an older gamer. I didn't play the games. Some people are just getting into games. It's a lot of people that have never played it on a 360. Never even played it. Just like on the indie station, if they do Drake's remake, it's people never played Uncharted. If they decide to do a collection with that, you have to think about the base that's never played stuff. I never played Uncharted. Now, if they came out with a collection, I have an indie station. I'll think about picking it up. I, I will. I will mind comparing Tomb Raider with that. Because I think they're on the same level. Tomb Raider and Charted. But this is a business. Now, if you can give it to me for under, I will, for the Marcus Phoenix collection, I will pay 60 bucks because you're getting three games. Just like the Halo Mask collection, you got four games and a shitload of every map that was ever existed. If you do it that way, that's how you do it. This don't make one remastered game and say, hey, and they ain't really remastered, you just upscale and charge 60 bucks. That's fucking ludicrous. Shit is bullshit. But if they're gonna do a Marcus Phoenix collection, fine with me. I have no problems with it. I want them to take their time. Black Tusk, take your motherfucking time with Gears 4. I don't know what you guys got up your sleeve, but take your time and do it right. Don't fuck up this franchise because it's beloved by a whole lot of people, including me. This is Mr. 100. Finna go do some work. Back to my office. Keep it 100 in your life. Comment below. Let me know. You can thumbs up, thumbs down. You know, Mr. 100 don't care at all. And remember, if you ain't got 100,000 subscribers, don't loot. You ain't got 100,000 subscribers. Don't quit your day job. Peace. Hair grease. And ponies. <laughs>
sorry to show your greatness, though. 